We are a redeemed people. We have been delivered from the enslavement of sin and released unto a new freedom by the sacrifice of Jesus. Thinking upon the blood of Christ, redemption comes to mind. And with that also, John 3, 16 and 17 also come to mind. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Christ has purchased us with his blood. He became the scapegoat for our sin. And now, as the verse says, whosoever believes in him will not perish, Amen. but have everlasting life. He has bought us with a price that only the blood of the Lamb could buy. And now we have the blessing of coming and being joint heirs with the Lord. And that truly is a blessing. Amen. God has not brought us to small things. So we should reach out and hold on to the big things that he has given us. Amen. All that God has, all that God has, is our inheritance. We have heaven as our inheritance. Paradise is our birthright. Amen. Amen. And paradise is paradise because our Lord is there, and we are, we will be able to see Him in the fullness of His glory. I long for that day because in that day all our barriers will be broken and we will be able to see our Lord in his fullness. Amen. Time will be no more there. And so things like this can just keep on going on. We'll never have to stop. That's what the sacrifice of Jesus has given us. And all who love him will be saved. The question is, do you love him? If you love him, you will strive after him. And all who strive after Jesus are saved. Amen. Amen. God has given us all that anyone could ask for. And the things they've has given us fill and it's not a vain filling it is a filling that will stay there and that we can build upon and I trust God to everything that I have and everything that I will have and I thank him that I was able to come here today because I don't have many chances to tell people about what I believe like this and I do love him very much and I know that you do too because it shows and I hope that the things that I believe in also show too God has not brought us to vain things he has given us eternal things which will not perish this world is going to perish things which he gives us will not perish with it and so I think it is very important that we do show people what we believe because when we do other people will see it and we must take the chance that they will believe too many are called but few are chosen the church has been the ones that are chosen and God has sent us to do the calling to all those who have not come to him. Amen.